Hey sourcers and recruiters out there, Tony Steeman here, research consultant with the Nova Group, and I'm back with another sourcing tips video. Today we're taking a look at how to search LinkedIn X-Ray, and this is part one of a three-part series which talks about the basics and structure. So a lot of recruiters are still only using uh, LinkedIn's internal search tool, which is a great tool, by the way, to uh, source LinkedIn for passive candidates. But at the same time, it's also limited uh, because you can only view people in your first or second degree networks. And so this is really a great way uh, to target some of those profiles and see some of those profiles of people who might be outside of your second degree connections and might also uh, be people that you, maybe you can't see their full profile in LinkedIn search. So let's go ahead and dive in and uh, take a look at how to best utilize LinkedIn search uh, using the x-ray technique. So first of all, let's ask the question, why would, why would we want to use LinkedIn X-Ray? Well, first of all, it's a great way to utilize search engines uh, to source LinkedIn. And so I, I'm a big proponent of using every tool possible out there to uh, source passive candidates. And so this is just another tool in the tool belt. Um, and it uh, is a way to source LinkedIn through search engines. So um, a lot of people are only limited to their second degree connections. And so this is kind of an effective way, as I mentioned before, to, to transcend that or to go outside of your second degree connections. And then it also gives you the ability to effectively reach passive candidates with a basic LinkedIn account. Now, I've only ever had a basic LinkedIn account. I know a lot of people either maybe don't have the budget to pay for a LinkedIn account. And so this is really a way that they can utilize LinkedIn without having to pay extra to still find some great passive candidates. So just some key points to remember as we dive in here. Uh, as I kind of hinted to before, LinkedIn X-Ray is not the only way to search LinkedIn. I'm a big proponent of using this in conjunction with LinkedIn's internal search tool. So that basically means going into LinkedIn.com and using their search tool. So I recommend kind of starting there. Uh, as a basic part of your sourcing strategy with the internal tool and then moving to X-Ray to really make sure you get a comprehensive view of the best results. Now, a, a common best practice I recommend for everyone is a, a lot of recruiters out there just, they don't want to learn how to source, they don't want to learn how to X-Ray, they just want to go out there and copy and paste someone else's work. You're going to have the best overall and long-term results if you don't copy and paste someone else's search strings but instead learn how to do it yourself. So watch videos like this one, learn how the structure of the search string works and then really experiment with going out there and writing these search strings. Not only so you get the best results by typing in the keywords into your search engine, which actually does matter in this type of search, but also so you can learn to experiment and use it as a building block to, to write more intricate search strings and ultimately get better results uh, in the end. So I definitely recommend doing that. Now let's talk about the three basic components of a LinkedIn x-ray search. So uh, the first one is the x-ray command. So the first thing you have to have for this search is the x-ray command. The second thing you have to have is keywords. And then the third thing you have to have is negative keywords. Now I'm going to give brief explanations of each of these, but this just helps you kind of compartmentalize it in your mind. You need the x-ray command, you need keywords, and then you need negative keywords. So let's talk about what each of these mean. So first of all, the x-ray command, what is it? Well, the x-ray command is how you tell the search engine to target LinkedIn's URL to pull back only results from LinkedIn.com. And you'll see right here at the top of the screen, the x-ray command is site colon LinkedIn.com. Just to say it again so you can hear it and see it, site colon LinkedIn.com. Now, this command can be used in either Google or Bing search engines. It should be typed with no spaces and all lowercase as you see it on the screen here. And what it does is it allows the search engine, such as Google or Bing, to index LinkedIn on the web. So it almost pulls up like a LinkedIn.com file folder to show you everything that's indexed on LinkedIn.com that's public information. So once we have that uh, x-ray command, the next thing we want to add, the very next thing we want to add is our keywords. Now these are the things that you want to see in your candidate profiles. So if there's certain sets of skill sets or job titles or locations or many, many more types of things, we want to add that immediately following 
the x-ray command in our search in either Google or Bing. So it should be site colon linkedin.com and then we begin to add in our keywords. Now this is going to be used best if we use boolean operators and modifiers for the best results. Now we don't always have to use the word and but uh, we do need to use or and sometimes we can really combine these and, and if you if you don't know Boolean operators, I encourage you to do some searching on the web to begin learning and experimenting with those. And then I'll also be doing a video series on basic Boolean operators a little bit down the road. But what you want to do is you want to combine the site colon LinkedIn.com with some keywords using Boolean operators and modifiers, and you're really going to get the best results that way. So as you can see, an example search string of what we've learned so far is here at the bottom. I have site colon LinkedIn.com. I have process engineer in quotation marks. And then I have an or statement uh, in parentheses. So I'm looking for a process engineer with either mechanical engineering in his or her profile or a bachelor of science in mechanical engineering. That's just a brief example. So so far we've learned not only the x-ray command but also how to add keywords in and then the final component is negative keywords and these are going to be the things you do not want to see in your search results now when I first started sourcing seven years ago the search string that we have up to this point would have been fine just the x-ray command and keywords but what LinkedIn did as it continued to grow is what it, it added multiple um, different things uh, into the URL to index the site even more and these are things like groups companies titles directories and job postings well, we don't want any of those things in our search results. We only want to see candidate profiles, right? And so what we're going to do is add in what I have here in the second line. It's a using a search modifier called minus in URL. And what this is going to do is take out some of those different things in our search results so we don't see any of them in our search results. All we want to see is candidate profiles. And so really, you can type in minus in URL colon and then I have a boolean modifier set up and I'll include a link to this in the description below as well and what we're doing is we're mining out minusing out the directory extension the full directory any jobs postings any jobs to postings which are, is another form that LinkedIn use, uses any job titles any groups and any company information and this is going to give us back a pretty clean search which allows us to only have candidate profiles and so in almost every now I'm going to rephrase that in every LinkedIn search that you do you really want to um, in your x-ray search you really want to include this minus line minus in URL line to take out all of those things so you just get candidate profiles and so let's take a look at the example below. I have site colon LinkedIn.com. I have process engineer as a title. I have some skills of either mechanical engineer or bachelor's of science in mechanical engineering. And then I have minus in URL colon. And I have DIR directory, jobs, jobs to, title, groups, and company. And this is going to allow me to take out all those things and come back with clean results. So let's go ahead and switch over to LinkedIn and I'm going to show you an example of how this search string right here pulls up some great results for us. And I do encourage you once again to go ahead and type it out uh, on your own, not just copy it and paste it in, and that will give you the best results and will also teach you how to compartmentalize and type in your mind the uh, type of search string you want to use when x-raying LinkedIn. So let's go ahead and dive into a live example. Okay, so here we are in uh, Google at Google.com. It's my preferred search engine, but like I said before, Bing would work just fine. And so let's go ahead and plug in the search string that we used as an example and see how it works in some real world results here. So let's go ahead and dive in with the site colon LinkedIn.com command. Now we're going to hit space, which also works in Google as the and operator, so I don't need to type and here. I'm going to also use process engineer. And then once again, I don't have to type and, but I'm going to open up my parentheses here and I'm going to use mechanical engineering. Now you can type in or, or you can simply use the bar, which if you hold in shift is above the enter key. And that will also work as your or statement, but I'll just type in or, and then you can do uh, BSME. 
for bachelor's of science in mechanical engineering and you're going to close out your brackets here now we're going to also type in the minus in url colon uh, command to take out the things that we do not want to return in our search results like i said these work best when they're physically typed in by each person And what you can see here is this is just a, a kind of a shortcut of a way to type it. instead of typing minus in URL colon dir then minus in URL colon directory. I've used Boolean operators to make sure I take all of them out at once. I'm going to go ahead and hit search here. And as you can see, I'm pulling back all profiles. There's no things like directories or job postings here. I've got a ton of results because I haven't put in any sort of location. And as you can see here, Bachelor's of Science Mechanical Engineering, uh, Process Engineer, um, his current title is a Manager Process Engineer at Pfizer. And so as you can see, I've pulled back a great amount of profiles, and this is just another awesome way to X-ray LinkedIn um, to pull back some great results. Uh, this is not the only way, but it's a great way to use. And so uh, this has been part one of our video. I encourage you to get out there now and experiment with these search techniques. And next week, I'm going to be showing you some key tips on how to really utilize this search um, in the keyword section. So we're going to be really focusing in on some best practices for location-based search and things like that. This has been Tony Steeman, Research Consultant with the Nova Group. Thank you for joining me for another Sourcing Tips video. I look forward to many, many more with you, and I encourage you to follow and like the Nova Group across all social media networks, and you can do that by finding out more information in the description below. Have a great rest of your day.